I am learning to be unbothered. I am learning to be unbothered. You know, right now I am an empty nester. I have sent my youngest off to college and I am learning to be unbothered. I am learning to be unbothered with people. I am learning to be unbothered with situations. I am less stressed. I have a peace of mind. I am being unbothered with things that that really are not something that I can, can control anyway. I'm learning to be unbothered. I'm learning to be unbothered with people that don't want to be bothered. I'm learning to be unbothered with people that have mistreated me. I'm not dwelling on it. I'm not worrying about it. I'm not asking questions and why, because guess what? At the end of the day, God always knows what's best for us. He always, he already knows what can contaminate us, what's poison in our life, people that can hinder us, even when we don't see it. So I am learning to be unbothered. I'm unbothered when people don't want to be bothered. I'm, I'm, I'm unbothered when people don't want to invite me. I'm unbothered. That's just the place that I'm in. I'm at peace. I'm not stressed because I am learning to be unbothered. You know, the Bible says that we are to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. God cares for us that much and he wants us to be unbothered. He wants us to be unbothered. He wants us to be unbothered with the cares of this world with people, with things. He want us to be unbothered, and I'm learning that. As I get older, I'm learning this. It is a skill. It is something that needs to be practiced. I am learning to be unbothered with what people think, with what people say. I'm unbothered by it. I'm not allowing things or people to stress me. I'm not allowing people and things to bring me to a level that I know God is not telling me to go to. I'm staying in a high place, you all. I feel good about myself. I love myself. I love the skin that I'm in. I am learning to be un. Father, hear me again. I am learning to be unbothered, and you should learn to be unbothered too. You should learn to be unbothered. I'm telling you, that is the best feeling that you can have is to be unbothered because it brings a peace. It brings such a peace, you guys. You know, there's nothing like having peace. You can't pay for peace. You can't, you can't pay for it. You know, the kind of peace that comes from God, that's the peace that I'm resting in. I'm resting in that peace because I'm learning to be unbothered. Try it. You guys, I'm telling you, try to be unbothered with things. Learn how to be unbothered with situations and people and things and circumstances. Give it to God. Rest in him. You know, God is going to do those things that he promised you. I don't care what you're going through or how people have treated you. Listen, learn to be unbothered. Because there are some things that God has promised you. There are some things that God wants to do in your life. So while that, while you're waiting on that, rest in him and learn to be unbothered. This is She Speaks Wisdom. I hope that I have said something to you that has encouraged you and you have a blessed evening.